everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I am here with Linda Nitson, and we are going to show you another one of our templates that Sizzix has converted into have... a die cut, yes. and that is the periwinkle. Yes, or the wacky web. Or the wacky web, mm -hmm. yes. And it is actually one of our most popular. People use it all the time, and oh, there's, it's why. so versatile. There's so many Absolutely. things you can do. So it comes in small, like this. We have a small template where it makes the this, this small... Um, Wacky Web or Periwinkle. I actually made this after an old antique quilt. We have this big one here where we took the big Periwinkle. This is what the template looks like right here in the middle and sashed the edge. That's another tutorial. We have this one back here where we use the background as the solid piece. And then on the sides here, we sewed strips together to make a spider web looking mm -hmm. quilt. And so there's just all kinds of things that Lots you can do. It. You know, a template is good if you use it for one thing, but if you can use it for a lot of things, it becomes valuable. Absolutely. But what helps us, you guys know, I'm quick and easy. You know, if I'm doing it, it's going to be easy. Um, but Sizzix makes it really quicker a and easier. Quicker and easier, yeah. Because you don't, you know, you don't stress the shoulders, you nope. don't stress your hands. You know, I've I've had people who have had all kinds of arm and hand problems show me. Tendinitis, well, I can't do this, That's right. but I can do this. Yep, yep. And so we love this little Sizzix. Very machine. easy. So we've taken taken your uh, templates and put them into dies. So we have the smaller wacky web and the large. Should we show them how to cut out? This? Absolutely. Well, one of the things I think they've done that's cool is that when you do ours with the template, it's mm -hmm. actually on a foundation paper. That's right. And the triangle is cut out. But mm -hmm. you actually have a piece on here that actually cuts out right. so the we'll triangle. Right. So we'll cut out both pieces. Okay. Let me show you how easy that is. So, so we can do, do up that. to eight layers of fabric at a time. All right. And you take it right off of the charm pack. There's nothing special that you so, need to do. So I want four different colors, though, okay. because, you know, I'm, right. I'm just color and variation. matchy matchy like mm -hmm. that. So let's yeah. do four. While you're counting that out, I'm going to talk about the cutting pads real fast. Okay. So we always need a set of cutting pads at the top and the bottom of a die. But the interesting part about the larger periwinkle is even though it has the larger die, so you're thinking, Linda, those cutting pads won't work. They will work because what you're using is the shape on the one end for the, the middle, the uh, wacky So we're actually going to run this through twice. You are. You're going to okay. do the, um, the center pieces with one pass, and then we're going to do the background pieces with another pass. And so you just need the same cutting pads that come with your machine. All right. So I am going to... Make them nice and matchy. Yeah, they got to match matchy, because... Matchy. It's easier, you know, we resorted that um, charm pack, but if we just pulled them right off of the pad, that's true. If then we it comes that. out so much easier. So we need a cutting pad at the top, and what we're going to do is have that lay over just a little bit off the end. And the other tip is you don't want it to interfere with the um, second shape on here. It will improve the life of your cutting pads. So do you want to cut this for them? Oh, I'd love to. You're left-handed, right? There we go. All right, so we put it in the machine till it starts to work the handle. That's your cue. And you can use it either way, left or right. Absolutely. It's, you just flip it around on the table. So just like that, mm -hmm. all of our middles are cut. Now, sometimes you need a little pair of scissors. There's a, sometimes you do. A little I have a little, sometimes. I have a little catches. clinger over here. Mm -hmm. But that's, um, that's a pretty easy thing to deal there. with when you, when you get four perfect shapes. Just Absolutely. Like that. Now, did so, you do four or did you do eight? Because we can do I just eight did at a four. time. Oh, well, next time let's do eight. Well, let's do, do eight on the eight on time. the on the background. Because so this cuts the setting triangle. We'll show you how this periwinkle goes together um, at the end here. And there's lots of tutorials on the periwinkle that you guys can find too. So, so then, when you go to do the background piece, I've cut a piece that's five and a half inches, and this is just your background um, yardage. Yardage. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, uh, so we want to fold it in half. And make sure that your um, selvage, of course, is you don't want match that up in your there. selvage. Yeah, you don't want your selvage mm -hmm. in there. So what I do is I, when I fold it back over, I make sure that um, the this selvage up, yeah. is over here. Now, I could do this three times. So let's fold this over one more time here. Perfect. Okay. All right. So then we want to place that right on the edge, and I need my glasses. Your eyesight is much better <laughs> than mine is. So I line that up so that I can, and I can feel the die right there. Uh, don't be afraid to press on it. It's not going to cut you. And then I need to make sure I love I've got that a little bump too. right in there I too. also love that you can do these with um, not just fabric. You oh know? yeah. I mean, Sissix saved me as a as a young mom because I could cut out all my construction paper things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I took your job over. Oh, Did you want to crank that through? Well, sorry. It's a, <laughs> I just get used to cutting because it, it's really fun to do. Well, it is a bit easier. Now, leave this all together okay. because I'm going to show you a trick. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our background pieces 
and we have those cut. So hold okay. those aside. All right. And then we're going to carefully flip this piece over. Did you see that? I so did. it went this way. I'm going to flip it this way. And it's going to do the other half. Oh my gosh. So what perfect. looks like it could be waste here is really not waste at all. And I'm just making sure that I am covering up all of my pieces here. Perfect. And then we place the cutting pad back on top. You know, I love in our industry, we're always coming up with new things to make it easier for people to create these beautiful projects and that. Spin the handle through. There we go. Slide the cutting pad off, and here's. Oh, that is the awesome. Rest of your shapes. So let me show you how these go together because. Um, Ours is done on a foundation paper, and with the Sizzix die, you can actually just put these together. You're going to just sew your seam this way, lay it on here, sew your quarter inch seam, and fold it back. But it takes four of these to make a block. So I'll show you how this goes together. We've got these four pieces here in the center. Oh, this way. I'm a little angly challenged. I get a little turned around. That's all right. And then we're just going to put in these pieces here so it forms the block. It goes together so quickly. It goes together so quickly. And then you guys will be you guys will be sewing this up before you lay it out here like this, but I just want you to see how it all comes together. There's my there's my angly challenge coming through right there. Here we go. Oh, this way. And then the last one only goes one way. There we go. It does. Perfect. It only goes one way. And so that makes the block and it looks awesome. Yeah. We also have this tiny though. Oh, yes. Yeah. But if so you, this is mm -hmm. like this one. Absolutely. So if you have the smaller one, this one is the one that's great for, what do you call these again? Uh, they the two call and them candy squares. Can I open the pack? Yes, okay you can. With that? Oops. And so what we can do is just place eight of these on top. And I need my glasses on to count here. So we have. Uh, Two, four, six, six seven. seven. So let's get one more. And then this just fits right on the edge here. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. And then this one, in fact, you can cut it all out at the same time. So then I would place my fabric over here and then run that through. Now I can't. There we go. I can't fold this back over because then I'll exceed the eight pieces. Yeah. So. <clears throat> So, Oops. And I'm neurotic about using up one cutting pad before I use up oh, the okay, other Oh, okay, okay. It's a little OCD there. I, I am a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> it's just a good tip to use up one cutting pad and then use up the other one. Yeah, and what she means by that is when you run it through, it gets these little lines mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. but, and man, it's expected last, to do they that. They last a long time, they though. They do. Mm-hmm. Oh, so look at all these. How cute are these? Right? And so it's the exact same cut. block, just tiny. And then here's our background pieces. You can also uh, use a five inch square that you've folded over for this as well, but it's sure. such a good thing for the candies. And then again, your little pieces are just going to sew right onto here. And then we'll just Makes it so easy. And recut that. Oh, and she's going to do the other we side. We can do the other side. So that's perfect and an easier way to put the periwinkle together. And thank you, Sizzix, for that. I mean, that is so helpful. Well, thank you, Jenny, for coming up with the pattern. <laughs> there we go. So we hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial on how to make a quicker and easier periwinkle from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and the Sizzix Company.